now continuing further now listen to this carefully sir again it's a very very important concept now suppose for example i am at my home which i call it as my origin i kept on traveling 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 i traveled a distance of x1 kilometers towards positive x axis and then i traveled a distance of y1 kilometer towards my positive y axis i reached a point that point is nothing but x1 comma y1 you know this right that point is nothing but x1 comma y1 my name is ajay it will start with a i will name it as a now see here similarly there is another person he also started from my home itself which is the origin he traveled a distance of x2 kilometers from my home and again he traveled a distance of y2 kilometers towards the positive y axis from my home and then he reached another destination his name is b so it is nothing but x2 comma y2 right it is nothing but x2 comma y2 now these are the two points a and b i will join these two points a and b right i will join these two points a and b now what happened in this case is there is another person who is called as c right there is a different person his name is c or let me call it as p itself there is another person whose name is point p right what he did is he traveled a distance of x kilometers from my home origin and he traveled a distance of y kilometer towards positive y axis from my home origin and then he reached a point he reached a point that point i will call it as a p and that is x comma y now if you observe carefully this person p is dividing we both of us a and b this person p is dividing both a and b and he is dividing in some ratio that means from a to p there is some distance i will call the distance as m kilometers from p to b there is some other distance i will call the distance as n kilometers that means in simple language this person p is in between a and b or this person p is dividing a and b internally he is dividing it inside inside within a and b inside that particular region he that person is dividing both of us that means this is nothing but internal division or in simple language let me first write the heading of this concept this point p is dividing a line so heading is nothing but division of a line the line is divided into two parts it may not be two equal parts at this point of a time it is divided into two parts or in other words it is made into two sections i am basically discussing section formula as of now for you people i am basically discussing section formula in section formula the first thing which i am discussing is if that person p is dividing both other two people a and b internally that is my first heading it is internal division right it is internal division that means p divides a and b in the ratio m is to n p divides a and b in the ratio m is to n that means the distance pa and the distance pb the ratio is nothing but m is to n now what is that i am trying to say you here is internal division is that point p x comma y i am not going for the proof of this i am just giving you what is required for your examination point p x comma y whatever the person who came and divided both of us he he can be expressed in the form as mx2 plus nx1 mx2 plus nx1 divided by m plus n this is the first coordinate and my2 plus ny1 the y coordinate is what i am writing divided by m plus n mx2 plus nx1 divided by m plus n comma my2 plus ny1 divided by n plus n i will not go for the proof of this internal division formula is given by point p is given by the notation mx2 plus nx1 divided by m plus n comma my2 plus ny1 divided by m plus n i believe that the concept is clear for you people now based on this concept whatever we have discussed there is a question again it's a very easy question 
you probably did not believe that when i said kept on saying that uh, uh, coordinate geometry is very easy easy and easy and probably you will believe it right now the next question based on internal division whatever i am trying to solve right now is your original cgl 2017 question the exact question what came in cgl 2017 i am putting it on the screen so that you will understand how easily a question can be framed also now see here sir this is your question i have mentioned here also it is ssc cgl 2017 original question point a divides segment bc in the ratio 4 is to 1 internally that means there is some point first of all there are two points b and c these are the two points b and c there is some other point called as a this point a divides the segment b and c in the ratio 4 is to 1 right it divides the segment b and c in the ratio 4 is to 1 that is the first point that is the first statement given the coordinates of b and c are 6 comma 1 and 7 by 2 comma 6 6 comma 1 and 7 by 2 comma 6 these are the coordinates of points b and c respectively find the coordinate of a i don't know the coordinate of a i will name the coordinate of a as x comma y i already told you the internal division formula the point which is dividing internally in this example it is a it is given by the notation which we discussed very recently that mx2 plus nx1 m is nothing but 4 n is nothing but 1 This is x1 comma y1. You need not write all these things in the examination. You can directly write the answer. I am writing for your understanding. M x2. It is 4 into 7 by 2. 28 by 2. It is 14 plus n x1. N is 1. X1 is 6. 1 into 6 is 6. Divided by m plus n. 4 plus 1 is 5 comma m y2. 4 into y2. 4 into 6 is 24 plus n y1. n is 1 y1 is also 1 1 into 1 is 1 divided by m plus n very very easily you can say that 20 by 5 is 4 25 by 5 is 5 do you think it's a very difficult question sir i don't think personally sir i really personally do not think that it's a very difficult question and please read the question which is highlighted in that red color saying that it is your original ssc cgl 2017 question that means the questions which are coming in ssc cgl in coordinate geometry topic they are very very simple by nature and i mean my statement i believe that the first logic of internal division is very very clear for you people i hope the idea is clear now extending the logic second one if i go for the second one second one is suppose for example there is a point a a coordinates is x1 comma y1 i already explained you in detail coming from home traveling x1 kilometers y1 kilometers same explanation again sir there is another point b b coordinates are x2 comma y2 i will join these two points via a line now there is another point there is another person whose name is point p right that person name is point p what he will do is he will also start from the origin same home and he will travel like this like this like this he will keep traveling but he will not stop anywhere and divide it internally he will extern he will go outside and he will keep traveling like this and he will stop somewhere at this point this point is the point p i will call it as x comma y that means this point p is now dividing these two points a and b externally so therefore my second case is external division my second case is external division formula that means can i say that point p is dividing a and b in the ratio m is to n that means this entire distance is m this entire distance is n same here also pa distance is m pb distance is n so pa is to pb is m is to n if i want to tell the coordinates of p which is x comma y which is dividing externally if our internal division formula it is mx2 plus nx1 divided by m plus n for external similarly comma my2 plus ny1 
divided by m plus n. This is for internal. If I put plus in between, for external the only difference is in between put a negative sign. Mx2 minus Nx1 divided by m minus n, comma my 2 minus Ny1 divided by m minus n. This is very very easy to solve it sir. Very very easy way you can remember it. There is another thing which you also can derive from this logic which is nothing but suppose for example this is point A coordinates of point A is x1 comma y1. This is point B coordinate of point B is x2 comma y2 exactly in between exactly in the middle the another point P another point P will come and divide that point exactly in the middle and the coordinates is x comma y this is the midpoint that means this is m is to n ratio because it is exactly in the middle m and n are equal or I can say that it is 1 is to 1 ratio right I can say that it is 1 is to 1 ratio now because it is in the middle it is called as a midpoint formula I hope you are understanding the logic. It is called as a midpoint formula. Now, for a midpoint formula, midpoint formula means it should be in the middle. If it is in the middle, it is definitely internal division formula. Internal division formula means that point x comma y is given by m x2 plus n x1. m x2, m is 1, n is also 1. That means m x2 is nothing but 1 into x2. So, it is x2 plus n x1 1 into x1 it is x1 divided by m plus n m plus n is 1 plus 1 which is 2 m y2 1 into y2 n y1 1 into y1 divided by m plus n 1 plus 1 is 2 so the midpoint formula is given by the notation x1 plus x2 divided by 2 comma y1 plus y2 divided by 2 now these are all the concept what i taught you till this point of a time I solved one of the original question which came in examination for internal division. Suppose, what if there are some other questions which will be asked in examination. Now, let us solve some questions based on this concept. I believe that uh, till this point it is very very clear. We will come back to the problem. Do not worry about it. But I believe that till this point uh, you all people are very clear about the logic. Now please see this question sir. Let us solve some question. Your question is, again as I said the question will be very easy by nature. Your question is, in which ratio x axis will divide the join of two points 3 comma minus 6 and 4 comma 5. That means, let me make you understand in a better way. Suppose there is a coordinate axis like this, right? There is a coordinate axis. x axis will divide, that means, this particular x axis will divide the join of two points. There is one point here called as 4 comma 5. 4 comma 5 will be in first quadrant. There is another point called as 3 comma minus 6. 3 comma minus 6 will be in third quadrant. Right? It will be in, sorry, it will be in fourth quadrant. It is 3 comma minus 6. In which ratio this x axis will divide? The join of two points. Now, diagram is not drawn to the scale. It will not be exactly straight line like this. So, but I just wrote it for your understanding. Do not worry about the diagram anyway too much. Right now, see here. Can I say that this x axis, whatever is there here, this will divide this two points in some ratio. In what ratio will it divide? Is the question. Now, very easy. If I rewrite the diagram in a different way, suppose. This is the point. This is the point 3 comma minus 6. There is another point. The another point is 4 comma 5. Now, can I say that 
this is the uh, there, there is something called as uh, this is the join of two points uh, two points are joined by using this line uh, there is another line uh, this is something x axis uh, on the x axis uh, on the x axis i am sure that you all know this concept uh, on x axis uh, x axis means x coordinate will be present uh, y coordinate will be zero y axis means y coordinate will be present x coordinate will be zero i am sure you know this that means x axis point is something will be there for x y coordinate will be zero now this particular line is dividing these two join of points in some ratio m is to n what is the value of m and n is the question now see here i know the value of y why numerical value is known as zero for me and i know that now do not worry whether it is dividing internally or externally assume that it is dividing internally sir what if it is dividing externally anything is anything can be a possibility right nothing is mentioned in the question right yes nothing is mentioned in the question but i am still taking it as internally by default now if i take it as internally what is the y coordinate in internally the point p x comma y is given by mx2 plus nx1 divided by m plus n that is x value comma y value is m y 2 plus let me write it m y 2 plus n y 1 divided by m plus n that means y coordinate is this value for internal division formula but we know the numerical value of y whichever numerical value is known please take that coordinate simple way of analyzing y value is 0 and m and n values we don't know this is x1 comma y1 this is x2 comma y2 so y2 value is 5 so it is 5m plus y1 value is y1 value is minus 6 it is minus 6 into n divided by m plus n if i cross multiply m plus n into 0 it becomes 0 so 5m is e 5m minus 6n is equal to 0 5m is equal to 6n can i also say from this equation that i want m and n ratio so m by n is nothing but 6 by 5 that means in what ratio is it divided it is divided in the ratio 6 is to 5 answer for this question is 6 is to 5 now simple logic if the value if the answer whatever you are getting is it in positive value then it is internal division formula if you get the value in negative value then it is external division formula do not worry too much about that point i hope the idea is very clear sir it is very very easy sir i am repeatedly saying this statement coordinate geometry is one of the most easiest topic to be ever heard and to be ever attempted in the examination hall if you get too many questions in coordinate geometry please consider yourself as lucky on that particular examination hall i believe it is clear whichever the coordinate numerical value is known please consider that particular equation and solve it substitute and solve it i hope the idea is clear we will solve another question do not worry about it let us take another question right now now see here suppose your question is if the midpoint coordinate if the midpoint coordinate of join of 3 comma x and 8 comma minus 5 is minus 5 by 2 comma 7 then find x let me write the way you understood and there is a point called as 3 comma x there is another point called as minus 8 comma sorry 8 comma minus 5 right it is sorry it is not 8 comma minus 5 sir this also is one of the examination question the question which was actually given is minus 8 comma 5 but anyway it really does not make any difference whichever the numbers the numerical value change the approach remains the same so minus 8 comma 5 now i am joining these two points the question says if the midpoint coordinate the midpoint let me call midpoint as m it is also given as minus 5 by 2 comma 7 right minus 5 by 2 comma 7 then find the value of x right find the value of this coordinate x is what they are asking now can i say that can i say that think little logically sir can i say that midpoint formula is given by the notation x1 plus x2 by 2 that means these two values i should add it and divide by 2 that is for x coordinate and y coordinate is y1 plus y2 by 2 y1 is nothing but x in this particular point right 
these two also I should add and then divide by 2. If I add these two values and divide by 2, I will be getting this particular value called as 7. That means y1 is nothing but x plus y2 is nothing but 5. Divide by 2, I will be getting this value called as 7. Think logically, something, something when you add it with 5 and then you half it, you will get the value as 7. What is that number? 14 divided by 2 is 7. For 14, for the numerator to be 14, x value should be 9. Because 9 plus 5 only is 14. x is 9. Questions are very simple by nature, sir. Very, very simple by nature.